Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, a legendary uh, version of saving your disaster campaign. Today we're continuing the psionic escalation uh, disaster campaign. Not sure if I will be able to actually save it, but we are getting a bit closer, uh, that's for sure. We just finished uh, the ambush for Major Malcolm and uh, his friend and now can theoretically infiltrate the uh, um, hunter's lair. That is in so far good as it offers us an option to use the Skulljack, sort of. The hunter itself or any chosen in that regard that you're beating will not give you any reduction of the avatar project. So we got to find different ways of dealing with it. Stronghold is here. We could uh, remove him and get a, an absolute fantastic sniper in return for our efforts. But that's all futile if we're losing the entire campaign. You never want to win a battle, but then lose the war, sort of. And the first thing that I immediately notice is, boy, oh boy, we don't even have um, a reduction of the Avatar project. We got a couple of things that are good. Certainly the supplies wouldn't hurt, but let's take a look at our situation. You always got to be mindful. In four days, we're going to have a supply drop. We only have nine days on the entire Doom clock. So if I'm now starting a covert action, that means I will for sure lose two days in the new month. And those two days could be quite literal, the discrepancy between um, the doom clock uh, still being okay and ticking completely down. So I'll do something radical here, since the only thing that we could get um, is a bit of supplies. Great, I, I get it, that's not bad. Let me think that through. Let me really think that through. So five days, we're going to get like, what, 135 supplies. Okay. Then we're at 142. How much for that resistance communication? 160. That's not enough. Or do we have another way of making money? Well, yes, we could scan, but scanning with only 30 income means we're again wasting two days. Uh, that is bad. See, immediately we got to make a couple of tough de uh, decisions. I think we're going to start here. In terms of movement, I always felt Grenadiers, Templars, but also Reapers could uh, use more movement. Let's just use uh, bones here for now. And we're continuing to clear alien debris. That's not even a question. We're slowing down the psionic process, uh, progress. Ah, I changed my mind. Let's give a uh, random grenadier like Kobayashi here, the extra speed, that's fine. Changed my mind again. She has an exosuit, so we gotta find someone else. Samuel has also an exosuit. Yeah, let's start here. Baller can use it. We do have another Grenadier if a mission comes up. And it's only six days. Okay, so we waste no time. We're getting some more supplies here. I almost forgot about them. So we can now go for the Shadow Chamber. Two more days and we'll get a lot of intel out of that. That's 130-ish intel. I can't believe no autopsies have been done so far. Wow. Let's go with the data pad because even if we had an armor upgrade at this point, wouldn't really matter. 
The Shadow Chamber doesn't really matter at the moment either, because although it contributes to the Golden storyline, it will only spawn new objectives somewhere where we don't have a connection yet. Now, my biggest fear is that the Avatar progress uh, project just ticks through. Okay, dark event. And we're looking at 180 supplies. Okay, wait, a, I just... Good, before we're going anywhere, let's put up some more energy. Yes, please. And let's build that resistance communication, highest priority. And don't just build it, rush it. That's still 16 days that we need to find, we, we need to find ways of dealing with the situation for 16 days. All right, so what do what do we have as options? We still got 25 supplies. Nothing that we could really buy for that, at least nothing which will make our job substantially more easy. There are only so many ways to delay the Avatar project, and unfortunately we are running out of ways. Avatar power, yeah, fine, but that really is not the biggest concern at this point contacts that's what we need and the game needs to spawn us contacts sometimes in rare occasions it gives you an additional contact clearly it doesn't do this now could start to do alarium crystals but i think we're instead building faster i want to speed up the construction sounds strange but we got a go all hands on deck now black market is probably worth investigating because it offers us um, sometimes research sometimes access to additional uh, soldiers and we do have around uh, 260 intel and uh, that's exactly what we did not want to happen all right, I just lost my train of thought because I um, needed to take a short break. Uh, I think, yeah, okay, uh, we just saw that the Avatar project kicked in and that's exactly what I was fearing might happen, right? We now got a supply run for four days, which means we can't really bank on covert actions. Four plus five is nine, but most of the covert actions take longer than five days, so that's really a problem which means our best bet at this point is getting the school jack done. Getting the school jack done and using it on someone. Got another 84 Intel, which is fine. And uh, that would be plus one damage to all magnetic weapons, bringing them almost to the tier of plasma weapons. So yes, please, we're going to take that. It's a poor man's version of um, an early plasma upgrade. So yeah, we're, that, that should carry the campaign until much, much later. So that's a really, really good breakthrough. But all of that will be for nothing if in nine days we're not finding a way to deal with it. So we're continuing to get the black market. Let's see if we do have an option to deal with all of that. So permanent crackdown, that is bad. Increase risk on uh, covert actions. Okay, well, that's not a problem, but in uh, training is a problem and we got to take care of him. But we can he hit two birds with one stone by essentially assaulting his uh, fort and also preventing the Avenger assault. Show of force is tough. More enemies, permission and two hidden events, one of which could be a major breakthrough. We have nothing to counter the avatar project so it's getting closer and closer gents resource rewards are doubled
black market pays a 20% premium. I think that would be helpful. Yeah, I think that would be helpful for now. The question is, what are we going to sacrifice for it? We don't need instant purchase at this point. Let's try to get some more uh, supplies. I'm not going to scan for uh, for those meager amount of supplies. The moment that the school check is done, we gotta infiltrate. So want to make sure. Unfortunately, we can't see the hours. Let's scan a tiny bit more. Now we can start moving over. Want to make sure that we are keeping as much of a timeline as possible. This here is getting super intense. That's all fine and good. There is the school jack. That's exactly what we were looking for. Okay, so the school jack might be able to save this campaign. Still got 25 supplies. Soon the supply run will go through and we're going to clear the alien debris down here. Anything else that we could do? Why would you not? Wow, that is that's completely beyond me. Why would you not spend 35 supplies for one of the best hand weapons if you're uh, running uh, all sniper team? Oh boy. Plasma grenades certainly would be an upgrade. But I get it. If you're with your back to the wall, there isn't much that you that you can do. We have zero Alarium cores, so none of that matters. Let's make sure that we're freeing up the resource here. And we're continuing to clear out the debris. Now the more important question is, what are we going to do on this mission? We have one shot and one shot only, and I hope sincerely that we're going to be successful with uh, school checking someone. So let me get the team up and ready. Good, this is basically the best team that I could come up with. By the way, I needed to recolor code a couple of uh, your guys. So we got sniper, plus Grenadier, plus um, Ranger, plus Specialist, so the core combination. Prophet will hopefully uh, be a true champion and will uh, be one on one against uh, the uh, Chosen. And finally, we got Scarecrow. Uh, I decided to put the uh, Skulljack onto him. He'll be in the front line anyways, so might as well with his movement give him the uh, benefit of the doubt could have put it onto uh onto profit but i would really like to use him uh, for melee attacks only this here is a melee attack but uh, his parry is super valuable we got an okay amount of damage and weapons i suppose i'm still not sure if this is going to be enough to deal with the massive massive upgraded chosen the whole campaign looks pretty rough to me but this is not even about the chosen the most important the literal most important uh, topic here is that we're going to uh, get one school jack in no matter the cost because that's essentially what the entire campaign depends upon now I am not sure if we're going to get another chance in the next seven days to use the school check. So this is it. Do or die. Let's go, guys. Good. We are going to start uh, this mission. Interestingly enough, we only have, I think, one healing protocol and one revival and one stabilization. So that's pretty much it. Uh, we got to be really careful to flawlessly play that want to use as little of our resources as possible for now. 
core idea is to mainly rely on cooldowns for the time being and then slowly as we progress and move further Uh, slowly begin to use more items. Optimally, we want to use the items only when needed in the last battle. But I got that un uh, um, untingling feeling that we're probably going to be in for more than we bargained for. So let's let's see if uh, there will be. Uh, if there will be many Archon-ish packs, and this is uh, actually going to be a huge problem. So, disappointment, the first pack does not contain an Advent Captain, which is what we need in order to do our actual mission. Repeat after me, our actual mission is not to win this here, our actual mission is to... Uh, our actual mission is to get an advent captain. All right, moving in. Like I said, we're not going to use anything but cooldowns for now. Four starters uh, before we uh, hit anyone. We got Bladestorm on Malcolm as well. Holy shit. He certainly is forced to be reckoned with. Could go with a Psionic Rift. That's one option. The other one is... To go... All the way over here. And can we hit three? Yes, no, maybe. Yeah, I think the answer is yes, yes, we can hit three. Let's do that. Big fat Psy Lance worked like a charm. I would suggest that we're putting an aid protocol up here. Let's finish the chrysalid. Good, that worked out well. Moving to position. Moving in. Let's kill the chrysalid. Very nice. Oh, he only has untouchable, not implaceable. Ah, that is bad. You should definitely get implaceable. That's unfortunate. Okay. Confirmed. Moving up. And let's kill that chrysalid here. It's good. And we are going to pepper this guy to the best of our abilities, of course. There we go, and we're using Perry to tank him. He's going to try to hit us. We're retaliating with Bladestorm. And there's the Perry. Good job. So far, 
Only cooldowns used. Nothing else. Good. And we're looking at a yet more damage for him. Still trying to get him down to kill range so that we can collect some focus from him. There we go, that's good enough. And there's one focus for our Templar. Very good. So, want to collect the focus right from the get-go. There's another basically open room. Our idea will be to stay here for now. And overwatch. A few more turns until cooldowns reset and then we should be good to go. I suppose this is as good a time as any to start testing the defenses. I have to say I'm rooting for you. These good. Moving up. Conversationalists. Heading out. That's affirmative. And let's Get everyone into a solid position. Overwatch, reload, Overwatch, Overwatch, and Overwatch. We theoretically could be engaged from the left hand side. I don't think that that's realistic. I'm going to explore all of the rooms anyways because I want to make sure that we have a chance of encountering one of the captains well that's definitely an interesting room right there before we're continuing how about we're moving everyone in here move move or oh, certainly want to get scarecrow to the front because he has uh, the skulljack If this could be, if, if I can recover this save game, that would be kind of the seventh world wonder. This, uh, there, this save game is so far down the road, uh, which is amazing uh, to, to hear me say that. Most of the other save games just needed you to not lose soldiers on a mission. But when you start... Uh, mm, kind of messing up the strategic layer. It's very, very difficult to come back from this. There's almost no recovery from uh, from a strategic layer mess up. Because here's the thing, there are, there are only a very limited uh, amount of ways to, to, uh, to get rid of the avatar progress, uh, such as Skulljack, uh, such as uh, mm, Golden Path missions like the Black Side that you've seen, and the problem is if you're not um, capable of dealing with the facilities, and you're not lucky enough to get a facility lead somewhere, then you basically will be almost snowballed into a situation where where the AI continues to build facilities, and you end up having three, four, five. Um, blips per month that will stack up and there's really not much counterplay against um, so many uh, blips you you can be lucky basically resistance orders um, can uh, can grant you uh, the options to reduce uh, the um, the avatar uh, resistance operations can uh, can offer that to you so those are the war, war of the chosen topics all of uh, the um, missions from the Golden Path, in including the school checking, uh, can uh, can grant that, and really that's pretty much it. If you're not following the Golden Path or uh, doing covert ops or having the uh, option to to go for um, 
to uh, to go for uh, the resistance order you got to deal with the facilities and if you can't reach them there's only so much that anyone can do so that's a bit me talking to myself um, and trying to assess if I could have done something different but so far the answer is no but look at that this is our ticket here he stands in his red and black glory with his little Superman cape that is the ticket out of this misery let's let them come a bit closer we can spend one or two turns just to make them come a bit closer yeah that looks pretty good seem to be really close now Okay, let's see. I often wonder, Commander, if you told them what you saw in the Elder's chamber. Well, look at that. All right, we got ourselves a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. There's an Advent captain nearby. We should attempt to disable it with the skull. Good, here we go. So, main target definitely should be the Mac not even a question oh interesting let's lightning hand this real quick very nice we don't want to kill the advent captain it's not our intention the advent officer sorry he's not a captain yet Blue screen rounds for some pretty solid damage. Lovely. Got his promotion er uh, mm, well earned. Moving up to here. And we're essentially stasising the officer for next turn. There you go, buddy. Good. The elite trooper could be killed. Just need to do it the right way. Well, given the level of resistance here, we might just want to rocket launcher that one. I wouldn't be ashamed about that. However, let's see. Uh, the rockets are stronger than usual grenades. So let's just do this here. That'll explode the explodable item back there and we've just used a regular grenade which is fine elite trooper almost down but almost is not quite down moving into full cover well so much for our option to actually engage someone in melee. Okay, we can't reach him. That is hilarious. What we can do is we can move up to here. Chance is too low. I don't like it. 
but we might want to do it anyways. He would have elsewise used a shield and that's okay. Not the end of the world. And we're just waiting. Now this is our ticket, guys. Finally. And the captain doesn't even know what happened. Stasis just ended. Too bad for you, buddy. And there we go. Good effing job. Let's recover some intel. Almost. Well, well, there we go. Shall we take a look what we're seeing? Good. Let's move over. It's probably not going to kill it, but it's going to deal a decent amount of damage. There's the clone. Let's see if we can fully kill it without using any any other uh, cooldowns. Answer seems to be no. Well, maybe. Doesn't matter that we're next to an explosive tank. Perfect. Whew, we're still in the game, guys. We are in the game. Now let's hope we can finish this mission here without major losses. Moving into a safe position. Good, we're moving over here and uh, let us Move in as aggressive as we can without triggering anything. Good. Overwatch. Overwatch. We only used one grenade so far. Let's make sure everyone can reload. Let's overwatch with everyone. And there's probably one more pack until we effectively reach the Chosen. On the move. Moving over. This here might be the exit. Not sure. It could. It might. Definitely great to have that stasis available. That way the captain couldn't just run away. And we had him right on the platter where we needed him. Good. 
Good, let's just move over. Yeah, that seems to be the last room. Moving close, but not into the room yet. Good, and we're moving towards the exit. Good. There is something starting to burn inside. It's never a good sign. Let's get our grenadier here. And Scarecrow moves over to here. Everyone takes a solid overwatch. Good. We're probably going to see one last pack. Surprise! Who would have guessed, right? Okay, so what is it going to be? This guy here needs to be taken care of and we can uh, stasis another one so that's good let's do it the old-fashioned way stasis is not going to end our turn we are void rifting over here Some pretty good damage. Moving up. Using our lightning hands as a free action. Fortunately missed that one. And let's make sure that we're the guy whom he is dealing with. So we're parrying right there. Good. Moving over to... Hmm, that's a good question. Move over to here. Probably still too close. Moving over to here. It's a solid cover. And that heavy lancer is certainly dodged. Moving over here. Good, finally. Running and gunning. Getting to here. And that might be a kill. Well done. To not incentivize any negative behavior, I could theoretically just close the door, but I think he will very much focus on the Templar. If they can take a melee attack, they usually will do that. Instead, we're starting to shred him. It's not bad either. There's the Bladestorm. 
And there's the hit I was talking about. Moving up here. Starting with a shield bearer, that is good, lovely, really good damage. Alright, if we want a straight line, it's kind of here. Looks strange, but the powers of uh, the Psy are strange in nature, so that's actually a technically s a smart move, believe it or not. Moving over here, greedy as always to get the loot, repeater and hair trigger is good. And let's kill the Andromedon. One damage is all we needed, that is perfectly acceptable. So we're going to get closer, that way we got another blade storm if needed. Hitting it nicely for six points of damage. Another six points of damage. And another seven points of damage. Parry and let's blade storm this guy to death. Good, here we go, perfect. Time for us to move to the platform and take on the actual fight against the hunter. Certainly got to wait until all of the cooldowns are ready. But I'm pretty happy to see that we're still got in, uh, get, uh, we still got all of our cooldown um, all of our major items. Only used one grenade. Didn't take a single point of damage. I would say constitute that constitutes a win in my book and we need to wait one or two more turns and then we're go uh, good good run and gun has another round of cooldown there is definitely another pack out here but I do not want to fight them if it's not necessary we got all of our cooldowns, almost three more turns for um, Null Lands. One, two, and three. And that will give us enough time to actually ascend. All right, now this is do or die, guys. We only got that one shot. Let's see if I can get the Chosen kind of as the cherry on top of uh, the icing, which would be nice. A great sniper rifle if we could get him.